Hi, welcome back to the Naughty Nitwits, row two. I'm Michelle. I am on Instagram as the Naughty, no, just Naughty Nitwit. I changed it. And um, my Ravelry name is OCD Nitwitch. And to my right, we have the lovely Leslie. And I am Leslie76 on Ravelry, and which I'm very rarely on except to look at patterns and stuff like that, so that's bad. Um, and I am Lutton Myers on Instagram. Melissa, uh, Miss and Mike, both on Ravelry and Instagram. And we did start a Ravelry group yes. on um, on Ravelry, <laughs> go figure, <laughs> uh, Naughty Nitwits. And there are two groups called Naughty Nitwits, and the other one is not our podcast, so that's how you know the difference. Mm -hmm. um, and so if you're on Ravelry, feel free to join us there. That'd be great. And we're working on getting a website. We have a Facebook page, Naughty Nitwits. And it'd um, be great if you saw us there because that's probably where some of our show notes and pictures will be. And then we're working on getting a website up and running, and we'll let you know when that happens. So um, if you watched us our last episode, thank you. And if you're watching us again after watching our first episode, <laughs> we really thank you. That's, that's awesome. That's amazing. Um, so, yeah, that's great. So our first section is what's in your project bag? So who wants to, um, you got something in your project bag, Leslie? I do. I am just working on these uh, Rose City rollers that everybody seems to be doing right now. And um, anyway, I am knitting this out of, it's a free pattern by Martha, no, Mara Catherine Brenner. And I am knitting it out of fingering weight yarn by Knitted Wit, which Michelle gave to me. So I love uh, the colors. Portland Dyer here. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, that looks kind of like a fun, almost yeah. kind of a Halloween-y kind of. Yeah. I love that green. I do too. Yeah. Well, I thought That's about knitting them for my sister who's having a baby in September, mm -hmm. and I thought when she's in the hospital, maybe she can wear them, because mm -hmm. nobody wants to go barefoot in a hospital. No, no one should go barefoot. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so. <laughs> On that note, I just have to throw in, okay, when we podcast last time, that day right before my buddies came over, I was informed that my brother had just been admitted to the ICU. He needed a quadruple bypass. So I go visit him and his first psycho nurse, uh, he was at the VA, awesome hospital and all, but he had a psycho nurse and mm. she kept talking about all the germs oh. in the room. And yeah. I am a germaphobe. Mm. And so it was really disturbing to me that she kept going on and on about it because I don't need that kind of input in no. my life. I've already got it um, constantly, right? And so, scary. anyhow, yeah, don't, uh, um, yeah. don't, don't ever touch anything in a hospital without no. gloves on or socks on no. or whatever. And these socks, it was interesting knitting these because it made me realize how much I love the Fish Lips Kiss heel because oh, I have correct. not done a regular heel in forever, and it took me literally like. <laughs> I don't even know how long. Two days? I mean, it's oh, ridiculous. Oh, so it's a heel flap? Yeah, heel oh, flap. Oh, have it. Turn... Lips Kiss heel yet? Yeah. No, I've oh. done it. Oh. Then, okay. Yeah, yeah I, I've done okay. it, but I was just the, that particular Yeah, pattern. but Fish Lips Kiss, I mean, I can get it done in like, you know, half hour, and I feel like I can whiz through socks just like that. Mm -hmm. And this one, it just... Oh, I, I see what you're saying. You didn't actually get to do the fish lips kiss. I, on I could have, but I, I I'm chose behind, to do it in the pattern. As side. usual, I'm just a little behind the conversation, so That's all right. get used to okay. it. That's all right. Yeah. <laughs> but I like that you have a Portland dyer and you have a Portland yes. pattern, Rose City. Yes. yes. So now, is she actually from Portland? Because I, don't, I know it says Rose City. I don't. It's Rose City Rollers. I don't know. Yes, it said something on there. There might be other Rose Cities. Well, it's not affiliated with the Mara, Royal Derby team. Mara, are you a Portlander? I don't know if she is. Portland the, Ro the Rose City Rollers. Yeah. Rose City is Portland. Yep. And the Rose City Rollers are actually a roller derby team, but there's not oh. supposed to be an affiliation between the two. Okay. 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 All righty. But what she said. Yeah. <laughs> All right. And I just saw everybody else knitting them, and I thought, cool. Yeah. Blue shiny. Quick, yeah. cute. Quick socks. Yeah, yeah. Quick socks. You could probably mm -hmm. maybe even do two pair from one skein. Oh, I think so. Yeah. Because yeah, there's, there's no calf. So. There's yeah. no. Yeah, they're cute and a yep. good summer sock because yep. I mean a lot of us don't wear socks in the summer, exactly, um, or at least not big ones. Yeah, so, yeah, yeah. So if these cool. aren't too crazy, hopefully my sister will like them. She well, of course she will. Yeah, she's knit worthy. So. And yeah, and oh, I was gonna say she'll be doped up, but she <laughs> might not be. She's gonna try <laughs> not to be. <laughs> oh, <that> fool. 
<laughs> Whatever, we good shall for you. What good happens. for you, honey. I and I'll be in that room. Choices. So that, yeah. it is, and I'm not. I'm not really criticizing. I just say if you can have. No, never. No, I'll be. Pr- I'll be proud. Of, I'll be very proud of her. <laughs> after my yeah, personal awesome. choices, to take the meds. Yeah, and after <laughs> my discussion last time about the marijuana, people are going to think I am a doper. <laughs> yeah, let's get high and take medication, and yeah, I really am just drinking water. Um, She's, she's the, always this way. So. Yeah, it, naturally. it's yep, um, just naturally that way. So that's what you've got going. Now, your bag, your project bag, is mm-hmm. that one you made? I did. I yeah, made you it. have to show this. Cause well, it's but super yeah, cute. I won't show it close because okay. this is my first ever this sewing sewing project. Yeah, okay, nobody has to know that it's yeah, yeah, no, full. It's shoes. adorable. But my good friend Angelique, who you guys both know, she <laughs> has tons of fa- uh, fabric. And she just said, come over and pick out some fabric and I'll show you how to make a bag. And oh, so nice. I picked it out and we made it and... Yeah, yeah, I it's love really it. cute. Love it, love it. I like it. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And Miss Amite, mm-hmm. what you? This is oh same. I showed this project last week, but just to mm-hmm. review, this is the parting it up sock from Megan Williams, knit in mustache yarns in the Dark Side of the Moon extended play version, which. I am wearing, just for Melissa, my Pink Floyd t-shirt, okay. Dark Side of the Moon. Yeah, See. don't do that. <laughs> Why do we always end up back here? <laughs> um, and when I've, I have to just throw this in, when I've worn this shirt, people have asked me, have you seen them in concert? Well, yes, I have. Thank you for asking. I saw them up in Seattle back in the late 80s. Oh, Very good nice. show. Nice. Okay. Back to you, <laughs> Melissa. <laughs> Um, so I'm just finishing off the ribbing on the first sock. I'm going to do a little afterthought heel. And this is really the only thing that's getting any play time right now. So, <gasps> You know what? You're supposed to be doing bear clothes. Yes, I know. Okay. But that's this afternoon. Bear clothes. Okay. Yes. Uh, Melissa's where she um, teaches classes out at the Knitting Bee does this thing with stuffed bears for mm. children, traumatized children. Mm. Truly traumatized. Not like my kids who think they're traumatized um, because of me. And their teenagers. So there is a, there's a <laughs> camp called everything. Camp Erin, and each one of the campers gets a bear and a quilt, and mm-hmm. so the yarn shop sponsors, um, we as knitters go ahead and clothe all the bears, so they all have mm-hmm. their own individual personalities, and she I've been is. a slacker, and I still need to, my two bears are still naked. So she has naked know. bears and like Aww. a week to, to dress them. So they, <laughs> my, my bears need to be have closed by Wednesday, so yeah, I here really she shouldn't is, be working on her it. Song. Well, I can't do that while <laughs> right, I know. it's not I a multi You have to have uh, mindless knitting to yep. work mm-hmm. on while you're doing something like this mm-hmm. or anything that you're. Yep. Speaking of bears, what bear pattern do you? Out of my own, I just make it up as I as I so go. You make the bear too? No, 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 oh, no, no, okay, no. The bear, just no, the, the bear bears clothes. are commercially pre-made okay, okay. bears, and gotcha. you go to the knitting bee, gotcha. sign out a bear, oh, and okay. then well, you they dress the bear. Them. Yes, nice. and then you just dress okay. the bear however you want. Just needs to have some kind of little sweater and poncho mm-hmm. or hat or whatever you want to do. Some of them have Cute. guitars, and there's they have mm-hmm. contests, and um, the contest Aww. just wrapped up. Cute. And so they do prizes and all kinds of things for the most whimsical bear mm. or what mm-hmm. have you. So it's Very just cool. something fun. And it's an annual thing. So so if that rocks your boat, mm-hmm. or that's probably what I was saying, but... Floats your boat. If that floats your boat, but I want mm-hmm. it to rock too. So Well, there we go. Um, <laughs> knitting bee, get yourself a bear next time mm-hmm. and dress it up. Mm-hmm. Um, what am I working on, you ask? Yes, what are you working I, on? Okay, this is the Yowza mm-hmm. 2. Weigh it. Yeah, it was a way it to shawl by Susan B. Anderson. This is, okay, look, I made progress, people. Mm-hmm. Last time, I just had a little tiny bit of a thing, mm-hmm. and now yes. it's a little bit bigger of a thing. Mm-hmm. And this is the Miss Babs, yeah, it was a big skein, uh, I have it written down. Awesome. Mm-hmm. The Yowza what is game? The Yowza way it's, uh, oh, whatever, it's. It's in Moonlight Stroll. Mm-hmm. Let's not get picky about what it's called. <laughs> it's their big skein of stuff, okay? I love it. Um, mm-hmm. And it's in my, I've shown this before, but this is my um, Lowland yes. original bag. I, I always like to see the lighting in bags mm-hmm. because it's cute. Mm-hmm. Uh, yep, yeah, this is great. Very cute. Um, so that's what I'm working on right now. I have a couple others that I'm just, you know what, because I'm talking, I'm going to mm-hmm. go ahead. Mm-hmm. In my... Wonder Woman bag that showed up mm-hmm. the last time we were together here. This is by Woolen Knit on Etsy. I love my Wonder Woman bag. Mm-hmm. I am doing, I've got two going, but I'll just show one. This is my, uh, well, it's not my, it's the Jay Walker oh, yeah. sock. Mm-hmm. Let's do this. And 
it is on, um, let's see, Jaywalker Sock is by Grump Arena. It mm -hmm. is a free Ravelry pattern. This is, this is funny. This yarn is called The Gromble mm -hmm. by Neely's Knits on Etsy. It is a merino nylon Stellina blend. And I'm like, no, this is Monsters. <laughs> this is like Boo and Oh, Monsters Inc. Yeah. yeah, and yeah. so I thought, okay, she must just be calling it this other thing because of Disney. Mm. I googled it, and there is a cartoon called Ah Real Monsters. Oh mm. well, yes, have you heard of that? Um, no. unfortunately, yeah. yeah. <laughs> oh my gosh. Well, I have to admit, it looks cute. Like, I might watch it. I might wait till Tony's here mm -hmm. so that it doesn't seem quite the grandchild. Yeah, such a grandson. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Or I might not. I don't know. Because you know what? As a responsible grandma, I need to watch, watch it first. first. That's right. Yes. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, anyway, it, it, I mean, it kind of looks cute. It's mm -hmm. like a Nickelodeon thing or something, but I love the colors, and mm -hmm. it is totally Boo, Sully, and um, Mike, mm -hmm. and then random black and white thing. Mm -hmm. And this is the yarn that I bought. Leslie gave me a an Etsy gift certificate for my birthday in May, mm -hmm. and this is the yarn that I bought with it, so thank you. Yeah. yeah. Um, so that's, yeah, that's that. And then the only other thing I wanted to show, um, because I, we talked about your blanket last time, the mm -hmm. cute, the cute blanket with the scrappy. Uh -huh. I now have more than five. <gasps> yeah. Ooh, yep. Good for I you. have more than five. I think I'm up to like ten or something. Wow. Yeah. But I'm not going to show it because that's kind of silly at this point to show. I'll wait. Um, okay. So now this bag here, I, she gets honorable mention. This is a cute Hawaii bag Very cute. by the Plover Bird. Mm -hmm. Okay, but Plover Bird, bless her heart, she is not selling on Etsy anymore. Mm -hmm. And she wrote that due to the cost of freight of getting the materials to her and shipping them back, she did not want to pass that cost on to people wow. because that would mm -hmm. cause yeah. her bags to be too expensive. Mm -hmm. I really respect that. That's yeah. um, mm -hmm. that probably was a hard decision to make, but. Mm -hmm. I'm glad I got my bag before yeah, you did that. That's super cute. Um, but in it's here, now. Mm -hmm. yeah, that's yeah, ooh, yeah. It's worth more. I'm not going to give it to the highest bidder. <laughs> Maybe. No. <laughs> okay, this is one of those projects that I've had off um, in a basket somewhere for a really long time. It's taking flight, and hey, look, here's one of my sets of signature needles. Ooh. Found them. Yeah, I have like I don't know six pairs of uh, signature circulars none of them are available. Mm. And I'm not currently, except for this, knitting on anything. So I thought, where are they? <laughs> um, well, here's one, yay. Because I do like them. They're pretty mm -hmm. and lovely and all that. Uh, so this is by Knit One Crochet Two, is who the pattern is by. I bought it as a kit. Mm -hmm. And the, the yarn is also by Knit One Crochet Two. So it's a shawl. Yeah, you know what I meant to do? So I love the, I know. like, it's really I stopped cool. in the middle of a row. I know. I was oh, so tired last night. Bad time. talk <laughs> And because, I know, and I meant to actually finish this row before we started doing this mm -hmm. today so I could actually show it. And I, but I, I got here a little early. And, yeah. and, yeah, we got a little distracted. But what I can show is the picture mm -hmm. of what it's going to look like. Oh, pretty. Because it is. It's really, mm -hmm. if you can see that. Or Google it, whatever. Mm -hmm. But yeah, it is. It's a really fun one. And I forgot how much I liked this as it's mm -hmm. been sitting around uh, for a long time. So I'm going to get this done. That's my goal. Mm -hmm. So um, so those are my three uh, things that I am working on right now. I've got my one. This is the one I watch TV to. Mm -hmm. The Yowza is what I do <laughs> when my 16-year-old daughter is getting some of her driving time in with me. Um, so you're to that point where you where can, I'm knitting. You can knit while she drives. Well, I have to because <laughs> it calms me down. And so it's like, I just, you know, uh -huh. I'm like, and then. See, my know, daughter so. said she knew she'd gotten to the point where she was okay at driving when her mom could, when I could sit there and knit while she was driving. Oh, that's, that's, so that was yeah. an accomplishment that for is, her. That's yeah. an accomplishment. Yep. Um. I haven't gotten to that point even with my 22 year old. <laughs> it's a coping mechanism for me. It's not, sorry, it's better than rocking back and forth. Yeah, and sucking my thumb or something. I mean, that, drinking. Yeah, <laughs> whatever. Um, I could start smoking or something. I don't know. Um, no, and it's. Stick to the knitting. There's that yeah. thing again. No, I didn't mean that. <laughs> but hey, whatever works. <laughs> no, joking. All right, so our next section. Uh, did you have any other whips? 
Well, I have that Chevron baby blanket that I was talking before we started podcasting that I've kind of messed up quite a bit on, and I don't know how to fix it. Yeah, so. well, we're not going to... Uh, yeah. What we're going to do is she's going to finish it fabulously, <sighs> and then she'll so. show it, and nobody's going to be any the wiser. Especially the baby. And the then baby. if we... Um, if we come up with a way to fix this mm-hmm. thing, then we'll talk about it. Yeah. At this point, yes. it's just not. Right now, um, it's being naughty and it's in a corner. So. Well, of course it's being naughty because it's <laughs> being knit by a naughty knitwit. <laughs> <laughs> Do you have any other whips? No, this is the only one that's getting playtime at the moment because I'm a bear slacker. Yes, you mm-hmm. are. Mm-hmm. There's naked bears out there because of you. <laughs> I know. The and, shame. And you guys are shaming me for talking about other things. You're, you've got... Naked bears. Well, I wasn't... Planning on knitting bras, but you could. That'd be cute. Oh my gosh! Here we go no, again with the no, bras. No, this is for children. No, <laughs> no, 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 no. So, weaving in the ends. Weaving in the ends. What do you folks have um, that you've completed? Well, I've got my hitchhiker shawl. Aren't you guys happy to see that we did not get abducted? Yes, we did. Yeah, we're still here. We didn't do any hitchhiking we're either. Still here. Yes, by um, Martina Bame. I think that's how you pronounce it. Not Martini. Name. Yeah. And I wasn't able to get the full, you're supposed to do 41 of these little teeth, and I didn't get 41. Oh, let's count. Arm, that's okay, yeah. It's all right. Yeah. It still fits around my neck. And and it looks great. And I love the colors. And I, I was really mistaken like last week. I said that it was a different kind of yarn, but it was oh. actually Did you find the band? Sock that, socks that rock. This is socks that rock. Really? Socks nice. that rock. Yeah. Mm-hmm. It yeah. seems... I've just had it forever mm-hmm. for probably several years. Hmm. So, so the I... STR lightweight? Yeah, uh huh. Okay. It's not the yeah. one I died for you. Clearly. No, it's not. I do have that one at home, though. I'm thinking about casting it on. Ooh, something with it. no pressure. Yeah, no, I love it. Though. I stained the my hands for are you. Beautiful. But, yeah, I know. But I did put it into my store already, so. Oh, so that counts. Awesome. Totally. And then I finished my socks, just my vanilla socks. Your, with uh, picks your July cheap. ones? Well, <laughs> we're still in July, are we not? <laughs> I just, yeah, and did you notice when I posted it on Instagram, I did not say July socks. Yeah, I just said it's my 15th pair of socks this year. And so. I'm impressed. Fifth, so. she, that is her 15th yeah. pair of socks this year. Yeah, since January. Not fiscal year, yeah. this year. Yeah. So, yeah. I was trying to use, well, it's ever since I did the Fish Lips Kiss Heel. Okay. I mean, like, whip them out. Like, nice. They're just So, quick. socks therapist, I think you're the one that did the uh, Fish Lips Kiss Heel. I love it. Way to go. Love it, love it, love it. Yeah. You're just motoring her on, yeah, too. It is. Mm-hmm. Yeah. All right, and That's Melissa... It. I finally, Pretty. finally finished my bear wow. uh, a sweater that I started in so, October. So pretty. So this is the blue sand cardi. Wow. You can show them the other side. Yeah, that actually has something <laughs> interesting no, in the back. So <laughs> so pretty. I love it. Pong I minus. love the pattern. I love the pockets. Oh. Had to do a few mods for running short on the the yarn. It feels so great, it by does. the way. Those of us that have talked bad mm. about. Uh, it's so sad. Now, I will still talk bad yeah. about the Cricut yarn. Um, I still don't care for it. Um, I like the finished product, but yeah, yeah it was, um, I don't know, some people call me um, tenacious, but it was just a sheer force of will to get it done. Why are we smelling it? I, I always smell yarn. I love this. This is really great. My daughter got to wear this. So pretty. Remember? Tuesday. Mm-hmm. Yeah, Tuesday yes, she I got to wear it. daughter wear it. I know. I love it. I just love the difference. Mm-hmm. I'm her mother. I gave mm-hmm. birth to that child. I created her. Um, I gave her life, and I would not let her. <laughs> she was cold. <laughs> Poor way. thing. Yeah. So this was knit so with it had it had the contiguous sleeve in the mm-hmm. in the raglan shaping, so it fits really really well better than any other mm-hmm. sleeve system that I have done. I love I the like, different stitch yeah. that's right up here. That really gives yeah. us a nice texture. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's great. Nice. You've got that down on the bottom too. And the and other I thing I really pockets. really love about it is there's lots and lots of short rows built in, so yes. you're nice and narrow here at the front, but then it gets really really wide and tapers and it covers the bottom. Like our bodies. Nice. Yeah, mm-hmm. exactly. Mm-hmm. So mm-hmm. I'm missing some of the narrow spots right now. But <laughs> <laughs> so finally, very, very happy yeah. to get this one done and off the needles and get That's that yardage awesome. going for Stash Dash. Stash Dash. Yes. Did you do Stash Dash? No. Me neither. I have, no. I've been doing a lot of Stash Dashing, or, you know, I've been trying to get through my stuff, mm-hmm. but I didn't keep track of anything. Mm-hmm. I don't have much and I'm Stash. The, so. No, it's not that. It's oh, not it's trying to get through your Stash. Through. It's trying to get through your whips. Oh, so, okay. well, so they only count it. Stash Dash is a group thing 
-hmm. the on Ravelry that you sign up to do a dash race for a certain amount of meterage between certain dates. So I signed up that I'm going to do the 5K. Mm -hmm. So that means I need to knit 5,000 meters worth of yarn in mm -hmm. my allotted time. Mm -hmm. There's some loose rules with it, so it only count it counts as stash as soon as it enters your house. Mm -hmm. So okay. that's kind of a broad term. So I like it. So mm -hmm. I, I can play with that. Mm -hmm. So I am up to about 3,400 meters knit so far. So I need to finish another mm -hmm. um, secret project that I have on the needles and about two pairs of socks and then I'll be good to go. I'm so. stressed out just listening to this. <laughs> yeah. I'm the I'm the one I, I like my spreadsheets, I like my organization. Yeah, I she, I'm I'm weird like that. Nice. I I'm I a just notes really person, like but, I, I like mm. the math. I like yeah. the, the organization. So yes, I, I, I like I just like exactly buying stuff. Like <laughs> <Me too. laughs> yeah, that's terrible. Um, but that does kind of lead us into our next section, which is community service. And that is how we have supported the economy. <laughs> and I have done a lot of community service. Good for you. Met. I know. Does that make you feel good about yourself? <laughs> um, yeah, I'm a... I'm a, I'm a giver, really. <laughs> you are a giver. You are. Do either of you have anything... I just, bought I... That pa I just bought that pattern, um, which I won't show because it's a paid-for pattern, you know. It's the Pebble, Pebble Beach, Beach shawl by Helen Stewart. You can show the picture. Okay, that's true. Well, my color from my printer is not oh, bad, so you okay. would probably, probably yeah, you want to see it. It looks like a big yellow yeah, highlighter. Yeah, exactly. Mm -hmm. Exactly. My okay. printer ink well, was bad. But well, I bought that, and then I bought yarn for it, but it hasn't come yet, so... So when she gets it, she'll, my economy she'll bring it back and show it. So. Yeah, good job. Yeah. Melissa, I know you must have done some damage. I've been moderately well behaved. I got my stash enhanced a little bit. When we went on our trip that we, to Seattle that we mentioned last time, we stopped by Tolt mm -hmm. um, Yarn and Wool in Carnation, Washington, oh, and they yeah. have um, cool. a line of fiber um, Snow Quali, Snow Snow Quali, <laughs> Snow Quali. You gotta love the, those names. I didn't even hear much of a difference. So. <laughs> <laughs> I think we're safe. So this is a really lovely local yarn where we visit is about three hours north of us, and so mm -hmm. this was raised in the in the valley right there, right in the Snow Quali Valley. It's a completely mm -hmm. natural, organically produced yarn, which really makes my kind of hippie, crunchy local privately owned business heart very, very happy. Mm -hmm. And so I just recently acquired another one so mm -hmm. I can make a bigger project so I just love this kind of it's a BFL and Clune Forest mix and mm -hmm. it's got that really rustic feel to it so Very it's going to make some really mm -hmm. I, I like the <laughs> the, the, yeah, the that's hardware kind of, yeah. she, she likes the soft yeah. merino I I'm kind of a soft person yeah. mm -hmm. yeah. <laughs> I, I like my soft stuff but I like I really You're like more versatile than I am Mm -hmm. I'm not going to speak to that, but I like my yarn. <laughs> <laughs> so what are you going to knit with it? Do you have any idea yet? I don't know. It's going to marinate until yeah. it makes up my mind. Um, mm -hmm. I, I, If I was a nice person, I really should... Um, most of my family lives in upstate New York, and we don't have mm -hmm. a really, really cold climate here, so we don't have much need for hats and mittens and really hard-wearing outerwear stuff. So if I'm nice, I'm going to make something and send it to my cold climate family members but we'll see no promises no <laughs> can't hold her to that no nope. <laughs> all right uh, my my community service um i really want to show this I'm, I'm not she, sure. well, yeah you, okay you I can't just, bring it up and then i know do i do it. that i'm sorry it's just my brain <laughs> <laughs> squirrel my birthday <laughs> gift from melissa <laughs> showed up today it's just a little late I'm just, sorry. Just no, a little this bit. Is, this is July and my birthday was in May. Mm -hmm. So what I'm communicating here is if anyone else still wants to give me birthday presents, you have not missed the deadline. <laughs> <laughs> By any means. Well, you used to be the one that said your birthday lasts the whole month long. So yeah. it's past, it's, well, it's past that point. Well, yeah, we're past that point. But I'm, I'm We flexible. can redefine I'm our boundaries to validate flexible. ours. <laughs> um, okay, I, I asked on our Facebook page a while back what a sock blank was because I had no idea. And I see them listed on Etsy. And so a sock blank, if you don't know, is this. This. <laughs> well, I'm so still cool. a little fuzzy on it, but Melissa could explain what it is. But she dyed me one mm -hmm. in these beautiful colors, mm -hmm. and then she's going to take it home and skein it up for me. Mm -hmm. And she also did one for herself in her color schemes that she likes. No, they exactly match. 
Oh, you did? Yes, they are exactly oh. matching. I dyed them at the exact same time. So this end... Oh, awesome. This end is more my color spectrum. I, I'm a green, okay. earth tones, that kind gotcha. of girl. And Michelle likes a little bit more pop than that I do. So she played this, you know, stupid Facebook quiz thing a, a while back. And it was a who is your soulmate's thing. Oh, right. <laughs> and so it picked us as soulmates. We're soulmates. And so... You're, um... I'm the third wheel. You're special to us. <laughs> like, you're my... No. Never mind. Um, no. Yeah. We won't go there right now. <laughs> we're going to have... So that's why, because we're soulmates, I mm-hmm. dyed up matching sock blanks so we can have exactly matching mated socks. Souls. Souls. She did Souls. a play on words. Yes. What are those words called when it's like S-O-U-L and then S-O-L-E? Sounds the same, spelled different, different meanings. Oh, um... English major, come on. It'll it'll come yeah. to me <laughs> probably in about spot. three o'clock in the morning. Okay, somebody's well, yelling just... it probably who's mm-hmm. watching it. Mm-hmm. It's yeah, this. it's yeah. Well, I don't know. Okay, so that that enhanced my stash. It doesn't count as my personal community service, but I sure do appreciate it. It's mm-hmm. going to be fun. Mm-hmm. So let's just dig in the bag and see or the basket. <laughs> this here was from Etsy, from Two Gray Dogs Designs. Um, it is. Schnauzer Schnuggle. <laughs> Schnauzer Schnuggle. Is there an okay. extra H in the Schnuggle? Okay, if I said it wrong, so sorry. You read it. Okay. <laughs> so what's that say? Schnauzer Snuggle. Snuggle, yeah. so not Schnuggle. Whatever. Okay, it's cute because it's like a dog thing. I get it. Uh-huh. Hey, you guys, if you're watching, could you do an Italian Greyhound one? Because I've got three Italian Greyhounds. That would be cute. It doesn't have to be gray. Uh, this is called Picture Perfect colorway it's a 70 30 merino silk 420 yards um i don't know i liked it so i bought it mm-hmm. fair enough yep mm-hmm. and then i bought i went to the tangled pearl or tangled pearls in salem and bought this bamboo bloom hand paints and it's just one of those you know funky different different yarns Mm -hmm. and I thought it would be a cute cowl or something maybe Mm -hmm. it's bulkier than I usually work with but I really I I like that it's a very thick and thin yarn so you get that really great texture to it yeah well and you know what what got me was they had a a project knit up Mm -hmm. in it I never I wouldn't normally pick this up and Mm -hmm. buy it because I just think oh whatever but they Mm -hmm. had something knit with it and I really liked it they had a cowl it is um it's 48 percent rayon made from bamboo Mm -hmm. 44 wool and 8% acrylic. Mm. So it'll be a quick knit up a cowl thing, and mm-hmm. I might give it to someone, I might not give it to someone, we'll see. Mm-hmm. And I bought, at that same shop, I bought this pattern by Snitsby. It is called the Mitered Obsession mm. Cowl. Mm. Yeah, and so I was thinking, you know, these blankets that we're doing with these mitered squares mm-hmm. and stuff, really cute. So I thought, that would be fun to do a cow- Okay, mitered cowl. <laughs> get my composure back. <laughs> if this doesn't edit properly, I'll just tell you right now, my daughter just called me on my uh, recording device. <laughs> and I had put do not disturb, but apparently that doesn't count calls from daughters. I don't know. She's an exception. Yes. Well, that's true. Uh, okay. That's probably good. Yeah. So the next thing I have is from... Everything showed up at once. I, I don't usually buy this much. Oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. This is from the Lemonade Shop, also an Etsy Princess of Power. It's a 75 Superwash Merino, 25% nylon. They had a swatch did up that they showed a picture of. It was so pretty. I just I love loved the it. pinks in there. Oh, it's Probably really... can't. I don't know if they can see that, but it's yeah, got it's little, pink really little pink speckles. Little pink speckles in it. So and it's soft. Feel that. Yeah. It's, I mean, it's really... It's super soft. It's nice. Yeah. Maybe yeah. I feel something soft. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, this was one uh, that I had pre-ordered Ooh, a while back. Really this is the Zen Yarn Garden. That's pretty. They came up with these accidental colorways. Mm-hmm. And this one's called Splatter. Love and it. this is a 70% superwash merino, 20% cashmere, 10% nylon, 400 yards. It's, I mean, it's really, I can't mm-hmm. wait to, to do something with it because it's really pretty mm-hmm. and super soft. What are you doing over there? I'm Googling the words that are spelled the same. Or oh, that, sound the same, but are spelled different. That is super soft. It is super oh soft. Gosh, yeah, yeah. I, I love their yarn. Yeah. Um, and they're I, homophones, by the way. Thank you. Homophones. <laughs> <laughs> All right, homophones. Thank you. Then when we we went to Silverton uh, with my daughter and a guy, 
a very nice guy. Um, a very was, tolerant yeah. guy. Oh Oops. my gosh, he drove out to Silverton with us. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um, but he got to cuddle in alpaca, so it was all good. Yeah, that nice. was fun. Mm-hmm. Um, apples to oranges? Yep, yep. apples okay. to oranges apples in Silverton. Apples to oranges in Silverton. Mm-hmm. Uh, this is a camel and silk, a 70% oh, wow. silk, 30% camel by Solstice, who I found out is a Portland dyer. I had no idea. Oh, wow. uh, if you can so is that it. more of a purple or brown? That's the big crest question. In between. Like, what yeah. color is this? We don't know. It's like, it's really besides pretty, beautiful. it's yeah. called thoroughbred. I would think, yeah. So, I mean, I guess I could see a horse looking like that. Or does a that horse of a different color? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Is that a book or something or a saying? Or a... No, it's from Wizard of... uh, uh, Willy Wonka. Really? I'll have to watch that again. No, I won't. I liked Willy Wonka <laughs> for its time. When Not, our children were the little. one with Gene Wilder, even as a child, freaked me out. That yeah. guy is weird. Scary. He's a little creepy. <laughs> He's very creepy. He's the kind of guy you would totally keep your kids away from. And then here he is at this candy factory. <laughs> You know, there Plus could be a deeper liberal. meaning. Yeah, there's like a stay away from candy because sugar is really bad for you. Don't take candy like, from strangers. If I gave up sugar, I'm going to give up sugar because it is a silent killer. I just read that. <laughs> um, anyhow, this is really nice. And we don't really know what color it is. I think it's purple. It, to me, it looks purple. It's a purpley brown. It's a purpley yeah. brown. Yeah, but it's beautiful. Okay. I mean, it's really pretty. And I don't know if I'm going to do this or not, but I have this skein of Madeline Tosh that I got a couple yarn crawls ago. Mm-hmm. And I thought those kind of, like if I wanted to do something like a shawl, do those kind of go? They're very well coordinated, yes. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah, so I might, pop I don't know, pop. we'll see. Mm-hmm. We'll see. Hmm. I'll use Melissa's, they're going to marinate for a while. Yeah. Right, that's what you said, right? <laughs> mm-hmm. Okay. So that's that, and that, so that's all the yarn I bought. Um, that's it. <laughs> <laughs> I I got a couple. Not bad for two weeks. Right. <laughs> mm-hmm. Yeah. I'm um, the Shipper mail hasn't received. come yet today, <laughs> and that's good because there's there's something that's been shipped that oh, I can say for next. That's time. right. I actually have yarn sitting in my mailbox at home. But you haven't got it out yet. We lost our mailbox key for, Uh-oh. and so we have to have it re-keyed, and mm-hmm. it's making me twitch because I have I had totally yarn sitting mm-hmm. in my mailbox for about a week. Now. I couldn't do it. I yeah. something would have happened by now. Yeah, the post office <laughs> said they'll come out and rekey it on Tuesday, so oh, I still have man. a few more days to wait. Wow, this, today's Friday. That's that brutal. Stinks, yeah. That is brutal. I wonder, are we supposed to say what date it is? Do people discuss that at all? Probably, um, yes, on usually. a lot of podcasts, mm-hmm. but it's our podcast, so we can do what we want. That's right. Well, we're just going to tell you that today's Friday. And this is number two. And we don't have to tell you which Friday it is. Mm-hmm. We did talk about it being July. It is July. Not yes. August. Yes. Um, and yeah. that you only have a certain amount of time. You guys can figure this out if you're really smart. Mm-hmm. Well, and when it gets posted, it says, yeah. you know, posted I by. Know, so I know. It's, true. it's not a big enigma mystery. It's not a big enigma If they go back two weeks, we, we did it two, two weeks, weeks ago. ago. So. Mm-hmm. All right. Mm-hmm. That introduction. Yeah. So now that uh, we just took that little left turn, there's always a rabbit hole to go down. <laughs> <laughs> I had to buy a couple things, you know, to keep up the grandma smell. Mm-hmm. One of them is burning over there. It's a soy candle, uh, peach and rose hips, and it, it does kind of have a grandma smell to it. But I loved it, and I got it at that White Rabbit or Rabbit Gifts or something in Oregon City. White Rabbit. Mm-hmm. White Rabbit behind Singer Hill. If you're from yep. this area, it's a super super cute little shop. Mm-hmm. And then I bought this. Soap out in Silverton mm-hmm. called English Rose, and it, I mean, you guys are into oh, it smells like grandma. But no, I lo- no, this smells really good. Yeah. It's not just rose; it's English. <laughs> yeah, it it's English like it's and more. rose. No, I'm it's really good. It's a good smell. That one. Mm-hmm. No, I just smelled the nasty candles. You don't yeah. like my candle? Oh no, 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 no! Oh, no. oh yeah, there they had another... disgusting candles there. We were. We just spent a, a, a day with uh, her daughter and hanging out and visited a you know, yarn shop and stuff. And so we're hitting the antique stores and everything. Mm-hmm. And we hit this one store and I start, they have a candle display. And for I men. just start randomly oh, for just for men. smelling mm-hmm. these candles that were marketed for men. And I just picked up the first one, took the lid off and took a big whiff. And it was like the nastiest thing I had ever Tell smelled. Tell what it was called. And I live with <laughs> five, or did live with, with five guys. And so for me to say something smells nasty, that's... 
That's for tell, real. Tell What's your them, husband? Sounds, it was a right? weed scented. It candle. was a marijuana scented candle. Mm-hmm. But the five guys you lived with is your family, right? Not just five guys. No, they're not just random. Five, five guys. guys. That would be my husband, my husband, and my four sons. Yep, isn't that five. isn't that five guys? That's and burgers. Fries. Burgers. Burgers. Yeah. burgers yeah. and fries. So there you go. That would smell better too. It would. Oh yeah. <laughs> um, so in case you ever wondered, weed can- scented candles don't smell good, and neither do the, the next one I smelled was. It smelled like my son's baseball bag, and when I looked at the label, it was supposed to smell like leather, sweat, and grass. Bad idea. And what's funny to me mm. is that after that first nasty one, she kept smelling the candles. <laughs> well, then you're curious. <laughs> I'm not. I, she's tra- I she's just, trying to find a good I walked one. away. I was like, you know, I'm not one of those people. Here, smell this. Right, I don't no. do it. I, I wouldn't do it for her, and I won't do it for anybody. When someone says, ew, smell this. Really? Really? Does this smell bad to you? I do that to my family all the time, though. Hmm. Yeah, and they'll do it for me because mm-hmm. I have a loving family. I won't do it for them. I <laughs> that's the, that's it, the qualifier it, for and being not it. Yeah. So moving right along. Alrighty then. Mm-hmm. Field trips is our next section, and that um, we've covered. We I went to Tangled Pearl in Salem. We went to uh, Apples and Oranges Apples and, and, and I don't know why I can't Remember that? So is that a new knit shop or has it been there? It had been there before, mm-hmm. and but they just moved to a new location. Mm-hmm. I think with it. The beginning of July ish, and it's mm. apples to oranges. It's a yarn and gifts, but it mm. it it's really felt to me it was it was a yarn shop or yeah. you know great knitters gifts. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah. Really, really nice selection. Lots of the usual suspects: your Malabrigos and your Madeline Tosh. Mm-hmm. They had probably at least a half dozen local to us like indie dyer types, which mm-hmm. I really really like, as well as some of the bigger more acrylic blends. You know, commercial yarns for babies and. Mm-hmm. They were very nice, very Mm. personable without being overbearing. They were there to answer questions but not hover, which Mm -hmm. I really love and appreciate. So Mm -hmm. if you get out to the Silverton area, I actually really, really recommend it. It had a very nice vibe and feel to it. It was very nice. Go check it out. Mm -hmm. I also bought a couple bottles of wine at the chocolate shop, Mm -hmm. which has nothing to do with yarn. But And I'm not a wine drinker. but It's a um, local wine? Yeah, one of them was. Actually, I think they both are. Mm -hmm. One of them is that Alexily whatever, the, the... winery that I went to mm. uninvited um, on a day that they weren't open and I walked oh, into their house um, and the guy was like in his bathrobe or something but it was I mean it was I think it was a mistake anyone could make because, they should have locked their doors they should have yeah, done that right if you don't want people especially if you're if you're running a business type thing out of your home kind of they didn't have a big clothes sign well, <laughs> at least not that she read, but no. that wasn't relevant. They said wine. She wanted That's some, right. so no, there you they go. They did have this wine that I really, really liked. It was a, it was a semi-sparkling, mm. not too sweet, not too dry. And yeah, I guess I was a little bit focused on that. You're driven. Driven, you yeah, because I'm not that really wine. that focused on anything. <laughs> um, how about you, Leslie? Have you gone anywhere or visited any websites you know, that you've shopped at that you thought were... No, not really. really. I haven't. I've been pretty boring these last two weeks. Well, haven't done boring. Anything. Just yeah. been finishing projects, trying to get stuff yeah, done. I have a, a sweater that's been on the needles for over a year that oh needs my gosh. to be done. Yeah. So, but I've <laughs> kind of it's, too, it's but... to that point where I didn't take good notes, so I don't know where I'm at. So I have to kind of I hate do that. some investigative work. I was going to so. work on one of mine, um, one of my whips mm-hmm. that is the uh, Chala. Infinity scarf or cowl, whatever mm-hmm. I think it's a cowl. Hala. Oh, really? It's not shala. It's hala, like the hala bread. It's braided. I never knew it was wow. hala. Again, the English major comes through for the uneducated. Um, <laughs> and I, I'm sorry, I really should not correct other no, people's I want, pronunciation. No, are you no, kidding? It's good. <laughs> you want to find a pattern? Someone just had so of us pretentious. Has to <laughs> yeah, whatever. I, I'm the pretentious snobby one, yeah. apparently. <laughs> Apparently, <laughs> um, hala. I can't find my so how's hala. It spelled? C H A L L A C H. Like like hala bread. So if wow, you would just spell braided egg bread, yeah. that's what it's. I would have pronounced it wrong. Also, mm-hmm. I'm okay with that. Mm-hmm. I'm yeah. okay. Is that yeah? Um, anyhow, I bought three. It, it takes three skeins of yarn. So I've got three mm-hmm. skeins of Madeline Tosh in different colors. I can't find the pattern. And so, you know, last time I was complaining about the fact that I print patterns just the one page or whatever. Mm -hmm. At least I can go print it again. This one I actually bought from a yarn shop, and now I can't find it. But it's it's here somewhere, so. Mm -hmm. And I've got plenty to do to keep me busy between now and then. Mm -hmm. So our last section is... Wait, wait, wait. Oh, whoa, whoa. Did you go somewhere? 
we were somewhere together because yes, we she got highly annoyed with me. So we're driving oh, back on our yes. trip from Silverton, and oh, I see yeah. signs oh, for an alpaca farm, and they're like, "Come on in, visit baby alpacas yeah. out back." And I'm like, "Come on, yeah. pull over, let's Except go." That, yeah, she wasn't she, driving. Yeah. She was just like, I just about grabbed the wheel. Though. Yeah, she wanted me to turn around, and I and thought she was joking because who would do that? Who would be driving? Okay, I know me. someone now, and actually I'm one of them because I did it, but... Mm -hmm. She did it. Yeah. She, she, so after I convinced her that, yes, I really do want to stop, and her daughter chimed in and said, yes, I want to see alpacas too. She, we convinced her to turn around and go see the alpacas, and so we had a really, really lovely visit um, at Markham Hill Alpacas, mm -hmm. and they have their fiber milled and spun. They're, they're, um, these are alpacas for their fiber. They had mm -hmm. approximately 105 alpacas at the time. So wow. we walked in and there was a very lovely girl there who uh, started giving us some of the basic information. She's like, you want to hold an alpaca? And so she plopped a week old mm -hmm. alpaca in each of our arms. And how do you say no to Cute. that? Unless you're kind of like city girl over here that's looking I at me like, <laughs> you want me to touch an the animal? The pictures and... looked cute. You looked, you looked mm -hmm. like yeah, you were oh, enjoying she was it. Cute. You know, that's yeah. the thing about me and animals. Mm -hmm. I mean, I live with a bunch of them, but... Um, dogs and a cat uh once i'm around them i like them mm -hmm. when we've gone when i've gone to the organ flock and fiber mm -hmm. i don't want to go out to the barn they stink i'm allergic to hay mm -hmm. and it's a bunch of animals making weird noises mm -hmm. but if i do go out there then i like it mm -hmm. i'm like oh they're so cute you know it's mm -hmm. just i don't know it's kind of a weird thing for me it's mm -hmm. um, and i'm the one that i make a beeline for the barns and for the mm -hmm. animals and i will drop down and snuggle just about yeah. any animal and yeah she was like gonna get down on the ground with this big dog and roll around with it but i wouldn't well, let her <laughs> there is this wonderful great pyrenees named max who i thought needed to go in my back pocket and except home. he really wanted us to leave him alone i think he liked my cuddles Yes, of course, he did. <laughs> of course he did. Yeah, he did. He didn't bite her face off, so That's that was good. good. <laughs> no, it was nice. Thing. And actually, this place is maybe I'll I'll include a link or something. But they're going to do this dinner on the grass thing or something. Yeah, it's a dinner in the field dinner program. In the field, whatever. So That's they pair great. up with different. <laughs> they pair with different wineries and different chefs, and it's a um, each date they hold it at a different location they had so, be, be an italian chef here I was like, yes okay. and so september 12th markham hill alpacas is hosting a dinner in the field so she's you got have the, the date nailed down that's awesome i want to go, go. Oh, go. this sounds absolutely it's awesome like, i think it's 85 dollars yeah, it's like $85 so, per, per ticket, and you go, and all your food and wine, and the chefs are there, and they're talking to the animals, and and that just sounds like eating awesome, with awesome to me. Mm -hmm. You're going to eat with the animals out in the grass. I have four sons. <laughs> eating with an alpaca is not going to phase me. As long as you clean up first. <laughs> We're all washable. Yeah, whatever. Um, <laughs> I, I this is where I gross like her out. Yeah, I, uh, yeah, okay. Um, but maybe we'll go. I mean, you can go. Maybe I'll go. Well, thank you for your yeah. permission. Yeah. <laughs> I, you uh, I'll talk to Mike about it. Mm -hmm. You're Mike. Okay. Yeah. We'll see. <laughs> All right. And then our last section is notions bag. And uh, if our notion bags and your notion bags are alike, that means there's a little bit of everything in there. So mm -hmm. this is where we wrap up anything, you know, that we have that didn't fit into our other categories. So do you have anything in your notions bag, Leslie? I don't. Okay. Nothing new is happening. Life is good, enjoying summer, and starting to think about school in the fall, and uh -huh. that's about it. All right. School for you or for the, the girls? For the girls. Mm -hmm. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yes. Melissa? The only odd, random thing from the last two weeks is I don't recommend knitting with rope and dowels. Oh my gosh, I'm glad you brought that up, because mm -hmm. I was totally going to. Mm -hmm. Rope and dowels. Rope and dowels. And that was and not with so Mike. I mean, that was totally independent of any kind of activity that she had going on with her husband. Oh. I don't think Mike wants to be associated with that at all whatsoever. So <laughs> He'll never make no. it this far in our episode. No. Yeah. But I can say anything I want. I'll never know. This point. <laughs> yeah. I was inspired by a blog. I think it was Anne Hansen's blog. And there's a woman in Europe who did made this amazing lace knit fence. And I saw it and just fell in love. So I started knitting a lace fence. Well, go figure that after working on rope and sharpened wooden dowels um, for a little while, you tend to give yourself a little bit of um, repetitive stress injury. So mm -hmm. my knitting was out of commission for a little while and my hand was completely immobilized and that was quite uncomfortable so I lost quite a bit of knitting time so wow. I can't even picture what a knitted fence is either well you yeah. will when I get it done 
Wow. Great. So she's going to injure herself some more. No, I will just wear a brace <laughs> next time I knit on it. Okay. Mm-hmm. All right. So small doses, set a timer. Um, yeah. Mm-hmm. But she no, I'm, a picture I'm a little, injured self I'm a little like, tenacious, so this will happen. What? So did you make the, did you sharpen the dowels yourself? Uh, no, Home Depot had oh, okay. dowels. It basically picture like a very large, um, like broom handle, mm-hmm. so where it would taper and go into okay. um, a shovel or mm-hmm. that kind of thing. So they're about yay big around, mm-hmm. and I was knitting with um, paracord. And wow. so I just chose a, a lace pattern and away I went. Because lace and cord go so <laughs> Lace and rope, hey, why not? So what's like the that. purpose of this? A fence. Again? So I have nice between, it yeah, it's, yeah, it's a decorative fence that's mm-hmm. going to go in my backyard between my backyard and my vegetable garden. So it'll have okay. herbs on one side oh, okay. and bird and butterfly garden on the other side. And so can plants climb it? Sure. Garden plants? Sure. Okay. Uh-huh. Wow. Mm-hmm. Yep. Interesting. Interesting. So would so, you, if you did it again, would you do it with different kind of like, like hemp or something? Um, I something don't, else I'm, I, th- I'm <laughs> still in, in, um, swatching mm-hmm. mode and trying out different mm-hmm. types of rope that I want because yeah. I'm going to end up, I, now I finally figured out, I mean, there's no yardage guideline for how much you're going to need of yeah, what's rope need? for, uh, yeah. you know, a seven foot long fence kind of thing. So I've just oh, been gosh. experimenting and trying different ropes and I think I'm settling on a, um, a tarred rope that the, the same kind they use for um, fishing line. Or fishing nets, excuse oh, me. Okay. Oh, okay. And so, no, there's not much I would do differently other than to say wear something, not use your wrist mm-hmm. to actually support the weight of big, long, seven foot long dowels because that's that's bad news. Seven foot long dowels. Are you really doing a seven foot one? I mean, that's taller than us. Mm-hmm. I just can't wrap my head around that. That's I want I want someone to video you doing it. Yeah. Or good. at least a picture. Okay, mm-hmm. we're gonna. I, work I, will, on... I will get some pictures. Mm-hmm. Um, that's something we need to to mm-hmm. see. I yes, can't visualize perfect. it. So mm-hmm. as prog- it, it's not quite as strange as it sounds. At least to my it's mind, totally strange. <laughs> <laughs> and it's not being strange to mind, her so mind. It means nothing to anybody else. It's like that's not the bar that you want to try. <laughs> nothing, nothing personal. <laughs> yeah, no, that, that's not personal at all. <laughs> hey, you're my soulmate. It's not like I don't think you know. <laughs> good things about you. I just oh, so more information on the knitted fence yeah. coming soon. Awesome. Mm-hmm. All right. Well, that wraps it up. So we're gonna try to turn this off, and I'm gonna try to um, edit out all the weird stuff. Well, not all the then weird, we would have weird no podcast stuff, left. Nothing left. Um, the phone call from the daughter, hopefully, and all that. But anyway, thanks for watching, mm-hmm. and um, we'll see you in about two weeks. We'll yeah. see ya. See ya. Bye. Is it still going? Yep. Yeah, dang it. <laughs>